Welcome to the RCO's A to Z of the organ. Today's letter is I for I resources. We're going to start with IRCO, which is the virtual campus for organists and choral directors, which is hosted by the RCO. This is the homepage here. You can see there's a variety of material. There's an event diary. There's a blog called Stop Press. And then there's printed material, uh, video material, which you can explore either using the categories along the top of the screen or by doing a more specific search in the search box there. And uh, you'll see if I select one of them, for example, which is watch, that takes you to the video material. And you can see there's a huge variety of stuff there. Access to IRCO is available to everyone through guest membership. And guest users uh, have to pay to see some of the premium content, all the videos and some other material. But everything is free to RCO members. Uh, we'll move now to YouTube, which I'm sure needs no introduction. Uh, but it's much more than simply somewhere to upload recordings of, of yourself playing. Um, there's uh, plenty of really creative and useful material for organists. Uh, you'll find uh, archive recordings of the great improvisers of the past. Um, there's the archive of recorded church music, which is here, uh, which is a wonderful uh, resource of broadcast music dating back, in, in some cases, to the early years of the 20th century. And uh, materials such as this is a great way of seeing how performance practice has evolved over the years, how expectations have changed. Um, there's also plenty of new material uh, to see, for example, there's some very detailed demonstrations of instruments, and uh, these offer a great way into the sound world of different styles of organ building uh, without leaving the comfort of your own home. So uh, this is a tour of the Cavai Call organ of Saint-Sernin in Toulouse, demonstrated by the organist there. Many of you will be familiar with MPOR, the National Pipe Organ Register, which has tens of thousands of specifications of instruments in the UK, both historic and current. I, we're going to concentrate on MPR in a future video, so stay tuned for that. Um, moving on to printed music, uh, we have IMSLP, which is the International Music School Library Project. And this is a huge repository of printed scores. And I've done a search here for Alfred Hollands, for example, which comes up with over 50 options and then if I click through to the Song of Sunshine it takes us to a, a copy of the Stain and Bell edition of 1913. You should bear in mind that the older the music uh, the more likely it is that an edition is perhaps unreliable or doesn't meet modern editorial standards so it's not a substitute for using a modern critical edition. However, uh, used wisely, it's a fantastic resource. Another very useful resource is JSTOR, which is an online uh, repository of academic material in all disciplines. Again, it is a subscription service, but some of the material is free for everybody to view. And I've just done a search for Pipe Organ limited to free material, and even that has come up with uh, 3,000 uh, plus search results, which again you can you can refine. Finally, I want to talk about music streaming services, Apple Music, Spotify, uh, there are many others, and these are more than than simply a, a place to find lots and lots of recorded music because any user can curate playlists of their own. So uh, the RCO has its own channel with uh, various different playlists. And you'll see here we've got uh, a repertoire suggestions for the Certificate of Credit Membership. Uh, we've got material to support diploma candidates. That's a list of material connected to CRCO written papers. So I hope this has given you some uh, suggestions for 
for the research and I'd like to thank you for joining me. Do look forward to our next video in the A to Z series, which is the letter G.